received a letter from Brian and his wife Christine, who asked us to play a joke on their friends, Andrew and Nadia. They said Andrew was very attached to his car, and would we arrange to do something awful to it? <laughs> we said yes. We set up the double cross. We're here at Leon C in Essex to try and pull off one of our most ambitious stunts ever, the double cross. Now this looks like an ordinary car park, except for the fact that every car you see has been put here by us. And they've been arranged so that there are only two available parking spaces. One over there and one over here. In a couple of minutes, two couples will arrive in two cars and obligingly, they're going to park there and there. And that's when the fun will begin. They're coming now, I've just had the signal. We'll see you in a minute. Here are our two couples arriving for their lunch. First in are Brian and Christine, who set up their unsuspecting friends, Andrew and Nadia. There's Brian, and he's making sure that Andrew and Nadia are parking exactly where we want them to. <laughs> and now they're off to enjoy a lovely lunch. <laughs> but they better watch out, because Beetle's about. The car park's become a building site. Oh, my God! Just get it over, will you? Andrew. Is that your car? Come on, Brian, we've been waiting an hour for you. Where have you been? We've got all the dogs on there. He's got his levers jammed. We've, got, we've been waiting for an hour. Did you read the notices? Just get it going, will you? And we'll get it, we'll get it out for you. What? Can't we get it well, out? I'm not, I, well, I wouldn't risk going under there with that lot, would you? He'll get it going in a minute. Just get it. <laughs> 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 what are you doing that for? <laughs> no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's have your insurance. Let's have your insurance. Come on, let's see, see what damage he's doing done first. No, come on, no, come on, mate. Come here, mate. No, come on, you can't just go. Come hey, here, bro. Get your own man back and let's see the damage and hey, then we can bro. see what we're going to see the police about. Hey, bro! <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think he's an outright f <laughs> Wasn't that fantastic? I know it's a bit of a shock for you, Andrew, but you seem to enjoy it later, yes? Yes, I did. Good, good. And I know that you enjoyed it, Brian, didn't you? Yeah, you love seeing your mate there, didn't you? <sighs> but just a minute. I did say that it was a double cross, but I'm not talking about the one that you've just seen. No, I'm talking about the one that we then played on Brian. <laughs> Did you enjoy it, Brian? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> what was the best part? I liked the scene drive over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. But the, uh, what was the worst moment for you? Walking down from the restaurant to here. Yeah. I aged 40 years. Hey, what's that? Near there. Why, what, what happened there? Where's that? Well, I, was, I saw something going on over here and didn't think well, we've been... it shouldn't be there anyway, should it? Uh, it well, be... well, he was supposed to be there because that was part of our setup to put this guy over there. <laughs> Sorry, can we, can we have your... Uh, n <laughs> I'm not here, I don't believe it. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Okay, there's a cab on its way. <laughs> Andrew's enjoying this bit, but what they don't know is that the taxi is Brian's own car. Oh, here comes your cab now. Oh. <laughs> Didn't know, I promise no. you not. Shall I introduce you? 
Just here. <laughs> Well done, Brian, and thank you very much indeed, Christine, because you helped us to switch both cars. And I bet you enjoyed that one, didn't you, Andrew? Oh, yeah. <laughs>